coming back to my channel stay forever true so today I want to show you all how I am going to cleanse my locks not just soap and water type of cleanse but an actual spiritual cleanse um, I do believe in good vibes good vibrations high vibrations all that good positive energy I even have people come to me and say oh I really want to buy your locks because you have good vibes <laughs> what I have today is sage now I bought it like this it's like a smudge stick is what they might call it and this is what the brand is it was six dollars and 35 cents so um, what I did was I removed it some of the sage sticks from here and I put it in a bowl now typically when I burn my sage here at home, um, I put it in here. Basically you can put like a tea leaf, a tea leaf. Basically you can put like a tea light in here and put burn oils off of it. But I decided to put my little pieces of sage in here and burn it like that. Before you do any of this, I want you to think about what your intentions are. Everything is about intentions and what it is it that you're coming to the energy the project the situation with it's all about what vibes you're bringing to the table like for me i'm gonna tell you what i'm doing it i want to do it because i'm in the mood where i feel like i just want to change my hair i want to change cut all this off my head like which you all know that when women change their hair when they're about to ready to cut all their hair off their hair that's like when they're about to do something crazy or they're about to change their lives or they feel like they need to change them, their lives it's like a forceful thing so instead of cutting my hair i just figured well maybe i need to do more self-reflection and focus more on what i want and what i'm bringing to the table and um what i'm doing in my life to make my life the way it is and to start to get my life to where i want it to be okay i've had these locks for nine years i've lived in different cities with these locks i've been with different men with these locks i have had you know different situations with these locks i've had a lot happen with these locks in the past nine years um so for me it is a sense of just cleansing and purging of all of that energy and then also celebrating all the energy that i have that makes me happy makes me feel good makes me have those high powerful good vibrations So I just cleansed my locks with sage and y'all it just feels so good. I don't know it's because I'm in the bathroom, the door's closed, everybody's asleep. I'm just whew, breathing in all of the, the scents of the herb burning like it smells so good to me. And they feel brand new. I'm telling y'all like it's all about your intentions. It's all about just coming to the table, just open and ready to receive. Next what I'm going to use is essential oils now. These essential oils are near and dear to my heart because I used to make soy candles and um, it was like I was like really deep into it but I stopped for whatever reason life happened and I didn't allow myself to get to my full potential and I still have these oils and it's just like this is just a reminder of me to uh, keep pursuing and keep going towards my goals and like never giving up type of deal like always moving forward so I still have these uh, a lot of my essential oils so I'm gonna use them um, what essential oils do is it, it's aromatherapy in certain sense trigger certain things within our mind and throughout our body and our vibrations and you take it or leave it however you want y'all like do your research do whatever but you just think about it like a certain smell like as soon as you smell it like you might be uplifted or a certain smell so when you smell it you're like Ugh, i can't take that so it's all about aromatherapy so look into that so the uh, the oils that i have first off you have to use a carrier oil so this is just plain old olive oil if you don't have essentials it's fine just use plain olive oil coconut oil whatever you have and you can just um like i said it's all about your intention so you can hold it and think about you know what it is that you want to do to cleanse your locks like what it is why do you want to cleanse your locks what are you cleansing your locks or what are you moving forward to like what are you allowing yourself to move forward into it's all about for me it's this like transition of being like 
right now I feel like I'm like in the novice phase of doing things I'm always starting stuff and not finishing it or I finish it later on because I always have new ideas I always have like oh my gosh I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that I'm gonna do that and it's like I have like I have like a stockpile of ideas and dreams and aspirations in my mind and I just have to see them through to the end so that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm allowing myself to see things through to the end. I'm allowing myself to see the fruits of my labor. And that's what I'm bringing to the table. That's what my intentions are for doing this. So anyways, I have some olive oil. And you, like I said, you could just use plain olive oil. Um, but I have four different oils that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to take a few, a little bit of oil in my hand. And I would just mix them all into the oil, but I want to just use one at a time and really think about what I'm doing. So the first thing is inspiration, grapefruit. And I just put like a thousand drops in there. Didn't really mean to do that, but okay. Grapefruit is considered a top oil, meaning that it is extremely bright, energetic. It's usually the first oil that you smell. Um, like when you're blending oils or when you're making candles, it's usually the first oil that you smell. But it's typically the first oil that starts to, um, in a sense, like burn off like or wear off easily. But you smell it first. So think about that. That's why I said it's inspiration. It's that first spark. But in order for top oils to do well, you have to add some stability to it. This is one of my favorite oils. I just always have resonated with the smell of this oil. It's Clary Sage. And I'll put what the aromatherapy properties are of these oils in the description box. Hmm. I'm gonna be honest, I used to really know what all these oils were and then once I stopped doing candles, it's like, I don't know, I guess I, lo I, lost, I lost my inspiration, I lost my grapefruit and um, I don't know why. But I'm one of those people when I get into something, I research it, I get into it like crazy. And then I feel like I kind of have like a roadblock that stops me from doing it. So I just leave it alone. But my locks have always been the stability of my life. Please go watch my, um, I believe it's like motivation for locks or whatever video. I'll put it in the description box and I might put a link as well for you all up below up below up high so i'll talk about a little bit here the reason why i started locks is because i wanted to bring stability into my life i was moving around a lot i was homeless i just felt like i had no control over my life and my locks is what allowed me to have that stability that's why i tell people well this is why i think that just chopping off somebody's hair and putting it on your hair is not always the best deal because locks are all about the journey it's all about the journey and I wanted to change my hair I want to do all this I want to do all that and I want to kind of stop my journey I guess or change my journey um, but right now we're just gonna cleanse it let's just focus on cleansing the hair okay my next oil that I'm using it's a very very good oil for women um, or any type of feminine energy it doesn't have to be women men and women have feminine energy you have to realize that or yin energy as my guy uh, Dolo the pilot man would say go watch his videos y'all this is geranium I get too much of the oil okay Ooh. and geranium you all just as a warning geranium is super strong some people might say it smells like a little old lady I love the way geranium smells it makes me think about when i used to make candles um it just has oh my gosh oh it smells like like a field of the most fragrant flowers it just it smells beautiful really good good smell and oil for women oh my goodness it smells good it smells like a, 
it's just uh, put this on my body yes I just love the way it smells And with anything that you do, anything that you're attempting to do, you need some good feminine energy or yin realm energy. Meaning you have to bring out your dreams, your you have to allow your dreams and inspirations to come to the forefront. Now, I will admit that if you do keep these oils in your head oh, for too long, it can cause you to get a headache. I'm starting to get a headache. Mostly because I've been, had, my baby just woke up. I had to run and go grab her and play with her and I start cooking. So it's just like too much. Um, but anyways, the last oil that I'm using is cedar wood. Now, what cedar wood does is it takes all of the intentions, everything that we are working on, and it adds earth to it. It adds stability to it. It adds ground, groundedness to it. It grounds everything. And cedar wood is considered like a base oil in that when you use something like a grapefruit, which is a, a, a what did I say it was, a high oil, um, a top oil, I should say, it takes that grapefruit and it allows the grapefruit to sustain a lot longer. So when you mix it with the grapefruit, you can smell the grapefruit for a lot longer because it adds stability to it. It literally stabilizes the oil. And that's what we're, well that's what I'm using it for, to stabilize me. My intentions, my thoughts, my vibe. And cedar wood is just a beautiful smell. It smells like wood, but like, I don't know, like driftwood, maybe. After it's been out in the world for a while and then it comes back to land <laughs> and it dries out. That's what it smells like. Okay, so once you use your sage smudge and you get your oils in and you massage your oils and you keep thinking about everything that you are manifesting, that you are attracting, that you are repelling, that you're pulling out of your body. The next step, which is optional, all this is optional, but I'm gonna do all of it, is you get yourself a crystal. So this crystal, so you take the crystal and you just rub it over your hair. We can rub up. We always rub down, you can rub up. But me and my sister, Catherine, you all know Catherine if you watch my videos. She, uh, we went to this crystal shop and we were pretty much done looking through crystals and deciding what we wanted to buy. And then I just saw this and I was like, I gotta have that crystal. But crystals hold a lot of energy. They're high vibration and look more into it. I'm learning more about it. I'm using them more now. And I do believe that it was a crystal that allowed me to get pregnant. I know it's crazy, but I mean, at the end of the day, if I'm getting pregnant, I'm gonna get pregnant. But I think, I don't know, it's crazy. I'll, I'll do a whole nother video on it if y'all want me to. But I am going to cleanse my hair with soap. And I'm just using plain, raw, black, um, African black soap that someone gave me as a gift. So, so I'm using, I've just been taking pieces of it off, as you can see, and I put it in my dispenser and mixed it with water and been moving it around. Now to this, I am going to add some essential oils and the only oil I'm going to add is cedar wood because I do want to keep that theme of groundedness, stability, earthiness. Sometimes you have to be selfish, y'all. Sometimes you have to think about you, right? 
you have to think about you just like when you're on the airplane if something happens you have to put your mask on first remember that <laughs> it's true at the end of the day you have to watch out for you first that's the only way that you can cultivate anything in your life is if you focus on you and right now i'm putting that focus and the energy into my hair because this is what got me to where i'm at i really do feel like that like i said i was homeless I was um, I was just down on my luck and starting these locks is what is like what kept me going. I was like, no, I gotta keep my locks. I gotta have some type of stability. Everything in my life is changing. I need something that's stable. This is my earth. My my locks are my earth. You feel me? So um, some people might think this video is kind of hooky, you know, all over the place, a little too like to them, but. You know what you feel that way move on to another video i have plenty of other videos for you if you don't feel that way and you're interested in what i'm doing definitely let me know put something in the comment section tell me you know i want to know what you all do to cleanse your locks on a more um, esoteric level a more vibrational level versus just using some type of soap and water but water itself is cleansing we know that and then a big part of using the sage and burning it is because fire is cleansing fire can burn through all of that crap and really show you you know what's left what do you need to focus on um but anyways let me know what you use or what you think you would use what kind of crystals you like do you like to burn sage in your home um do you plan on trying this have you tried this um yeah so i really really enjoyed doing this video for you all something i thought about and i was like eh, i don't know if i'm gonna do it but i was like you know what i'm gonna do it <laughs> and I hope you enjoy this video uh, let me know if you want to see any other videos similar to this i do plan on probably doing this just whenever i feel like you know what i need to cleanse my palate in a sense you know like how people do fastings and things like that this is like a sense of cleansing your palate um because your hair does hold a lot of energy your hair is the closest thing to the heavens as people say the closest thing to god and it's your hair a lot of times is what people see first it's it's for your hair to be made of keratin or to be made of some type of dead tissue you could do so much with it it's so much beauty in the death of hair and the transformation that comes from hair so um that's my little spiel that's my point of view on it all i hope you all enjoyed this video um to me it's just a deeper level um but so many people can just see it as just it's just her girl like it's just hair remember in all that you do Stay forever true. Peace.